Watch you stories on the opioid epidemic sweeping the Miami Valley. Now tonight we're hearing from mechanics who are concerned about getting cars with traces of fentanyl after they're impounded. Here's reporter Ethan Fitzgerald spoke with one garage owner about her concerns. Yeah, last week an East Liverpool police officer overdosed on the job after coming into contact with just a few grains of fentanyl. Not only did that overdose surprise the officer, but now local tow companies are wondering just how vulnerable they are. The opioid epidemic is a threat to all communities, including right here at Davidson's Garage, where they sometimes collect cars involved with overdose-related accidents and arrests. First thought into my mind is after EMS has left and police officers and you've had an OBI crash because of someone using, that tow truck driver may be at risk to an exposure to fentanyl. After realizing just how easy it is to overdose off a small amount of fentanyl, Cindy Davidson picked up the phone. I've been calling out to other garages, making them aware of my concerns, and they're all going, oh, I never thought of that. Discovering that people in her industry were not aware of the risk, Davidson took her concern to Attorney General Mike DeWine. Her hope is that training and financial resources can be made available for tow truck drivers, mechanics, and collision repair shops. I totally believe that he'll be on board and he'll understand that, you know, we need help too, and I... I anticipate, to be honest, that later I'll hear back from him. Davidson hasn't heard back yet, and she wants her message to reach Attorney General Mike DeWine. Help me protect my employees. Help me save lives. You know, we didn't ask for this, and it's kind of being thrown on everybody. Dave Davidson thinks any service that deals with cars should have Narcan on hand in case any of those workers come in contact with fentanyl. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.